Hello learners, we are back again with another question named smallest range part 2. So let's see what the question says. The question says that given an array A of integers for each length, sorry, for each integer AI, we need to choose either X. Okay, let me. Okay. No, it's perfect. Uh, we need to choose either x equals to minus k or x equals to plus k and add that particular x to ai only once. We cannot repeat this again and again only once. After this process, we need to sum array b, return the smallest possible difference between the maximum value of b and the minimum value of b. Okay. So let's understand briefly with the with an example. This example says a of i and k is equals to zero. So if k is equals to zero, then if we'll do if we'll do plus of zero or minus of zero, it doesn't make any any effect to it. So we have b equals to one. Minimum is Minimum in B is 1 and maximum of in B is 1. So that's why we have output as 0 because we are saying that we want to have possible smallest possible difference between maximum value of A in this the maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is also 1. So, 1 minus 1 comes out to be 0. That's why the answer is 0 over here. If we look into this particular in which a is, a is 0, 10 and k is equals to 2. So, we have only two, uh, two numbers over here in which what we can do is we can increase this by 2 like 0 plus 2 and we can decrease it by 2 that is 10 minus 2 2 comma it comes out to be 2 comma 8 which gives us the minimum minimum difference which is 6 if we have not done like this then what will be the difference let's see suppose if we minus in both of them let's say 0 minus 2 which comes out to be minus 2 and 10 minus 2 which comes out to be 8 then oh, then also the difference comes out to be uh, what uh, difference comes out to be 10 okay so we cannot do this so this is minimum than this so what's an idea over here is we will maximize the minimum value and minimize the maximum value so that so that we'll get the minimum difference we'll get the minimum difference okay let's see this one we have one three and six over here if we look into it and if we change it in this way then only we have the minimum difference now how we can do this okay so let's try to understand this with the help of so what okay so what we can do we can first sort the array let's say suppose we have array like suppose we have okay so how we can make this happen so very first thing what we can do is we can sort the array because if we'll have the sorted array if we'll be having a sorted array that will be much easier for us to compute it okay so here in all the examples we have sorted array so we didn't have any problem looking into it but if we'll not be having sorted array then we'll have we'll be having problems so our first thing is to sort the array and then after sorting the array we uh, we will bring out result like a of n minus 1 let's say the length is length of this particular array is n 
we'll we will uh, compute the difference a n minus 1 minus a 0 okay oh this is the minimum value of the original array okay now we'll compute for the array we have okay so uh, at initial what we'll do we have min max we have so in a n minus 1 we have maximum value and in a a 0 we have minimum value so what if so uh, where if we want the minimum difference what we should do we should decrease this maximum value by k and increase this by k okay uh, what this will do this will give us minimum minimum difference okay minimum difference so what we can do basically we can go into a for loop int i is equals to 0 i less than a dot length minus 1 oh uh, i plus plus and in this we can find out that if for new maximum new maximum math dot maximum is equals to this value which is max and we will we will compare this one with a of i plus k okay and we'll compute new minimum and we will find out this value with minimum comma a of i plus 1 minus k now i see uh, uh, why we have done plus over here and minus over here so uh, see what we want we want maximum element over here okay we want maximum element over here so if we will add some value to the number that will increase the value comparatively so we'll we can get the maximum over here if this gets increased by max value and why have why we have and here we want minimum value so as we know that the array array is sorted array it is sorted array so obviously a of a of i is less than a of i plus 1 okay so that's why we have minimized the value of the greater one okay so that we can get the maximum minimum value okay also we have minimum value in this particular thing we don't have to compute again for i is equal to 0 so we have compute it for the next element okay now we have computed for 1 if it will be a minimum then we have that in result we have that in result so we don't need to do that again okay okay so let's write the last value we have now then we will compute math dot min minimum value which can be of result or this thing one minute let me erase this particular thing okay new max minus new new minimum this will give us the result and then we will return the this result okay okay so let's see the code now for once and try to understand from the code okay here i have first sorted the array then in n i have length of that particular array and then we have maximum in a we have a n minus 1 minus k uh, element 
we have maximum variable which is having a maximum element but in that element we have uh, we have changed the value by in we have changed the value by decreasing it by k because we have to change in each and every element of a okay and in minimum i have increased the value of of that minimum minimum element to have mark to have minimum result at the same time okay so here i have seen the result for original values of a and of the last value and the first value okay then we have computed it for new max and new minimum max dot max is uh, we have, we compare with max plus 1 and ai plus 1 why we have done ai plus 1 because let's say it is 0 1 2 3 4 okay so this is a thing that 4 is greater okay so if we want some greater element then we should change this element from 0 to something else which will make it a little bit bigger and there can be a chance that it can also get bigger okay so let's say k is equals to 2 over here so if we increase it by 2 then we have 2 so this cannot be the maximum element then we have this we if we increase it by 2 we can have 3 we can have 4 we can have 5 okay so here that's why we have done this okay so that we can have a new maximum and if we're not having we will we'll uh, and same with the minimum we know that this is minimum we want to minimum minimize this one so we will decrease the value of this by decreasing the value by k okay and then we'll find out the result and we'll see that if if, if it is it is minimum then this will only be the answer and if if it's not then maybe this is the this is the minimum minimum value we get in result and then we return that particular value so that's it in this video thank you so much for watching uh, uh, be and uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, be safe and keep coding bye